Hi guys, Naturelle Bombshell here and welcome to my channel. As you can tell by today's title, I am going to share with you a wonderful coach find that I recently had. So this is like a coach unboxing or more so like a luxury uh, handbag uh, unbagging because it didn't come with the box. Let me start off by saying I know that the Coach Pillow Tabby is a very popular bag. Me personally, the Coach Pillow Tabby doesn't work for me because it's a baguette style bag. I Baguette style bags are really not at the top of my list for a favorite style. Um, and also because of the proportion of the straps to the bag and on my frame. I'm very tall, you know, I have a robust curvy frame. So girl, baguette bags usually end up pressing up under my breast or press or pressing up on rather and uh, or all the way up under my armpit. Not aesthetically pleasing to me. So I will say that Coach is a brand that at this current time is bringing a lot of fresh new uh, designs. They have ambassadors like um, um, Meg Thee Stallion, I believe Jennifer Lopez as well. So by bringing on, you know, different fresh faces, people that currently have a lot of notoriety and hype around them, uh, definitely was a smart move to bring on this brand ambassadors in my, in my personal opinion. Um, I know some people say it's Coach coming back in style. For me personally, Coach has never been out of style. Like I think if you are a fashion person, brands really don't go out of style for you. Now certain styles can go um, out of style. For instance, the Coach canvas. I think that is dated. However, there are certain brands that have a um, monogram canvas that are timeless. For example, Gucci and Louis Vuitton. So those type of brands will have a monogram canvas or logo that is, you know, timeless and has stood to test of time, obviously, since they have been around for decades, almost a century. Um, so, girl, anyway, I'm on a rant. So when I found this bag, I was like, okay, girl, pillow tabby who? But again, I really wasn't checking for the pillow tabby like that for me personally. Love the bag, but personally not for me. So let me show you what I got. So I was at the store. This is what I got. And I have all the details linked below. But when I went into Coach and I saw this, first of all, let me give you a little backstory. I was looking for a white bag. I was looking at the Yves Saint Laurent um, college bag. But I'm like, do I want to pay that much for a white bag? Mm. Anyway, no, I just feel like I would have to replace it sooner. It's white. And I love that bag, but, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to invest that much in a white bag, to be honest. So when I was uh, shopping and I saw this one, this caught my eye and it is just so me. I love the Kiss Lock. It's a dainty feminine bag. I mean, it can be looked at as girly. I'm, I'm really not a, a, a girly person. I like womanly things. I am very feminine, but like girly, frilly stuff, not my Jewish girl. I like a more kind of sexy bombshell, hence the word, hence, hence my name, natural bombshell. I like a more sexy bombshell, womanly silhouetted things, but I really like this. This reminds me of the kind of vintage coin purses. Uh, but just like on a larger scale, but this bag is still petite enough to, um, it's still petite enough for convenience and practicality. And I will say the inside is rather large. It has a pocket. I love the kiss lock. It has this uh, coach tab. It also has the coach um, branding right here. And it doesn't seem too flashy. It's just real subtle, which is, um, what I like. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Coach Canvas, but they have, Coach has always been a luxury leather house. And when people talk about luxury, you have different levels of luxury. You have, I think on the introductory level, you have Coach, MCM, Michael Kors, um, even some um, Ralph Lauren. And then on another level, you have Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Versace, um, 
uh, Fendi, Chanel, and then the creme de la creme, you have uh, Haute Couture. So it's levels. I think this is a great, substantial, luxury, well-made bag. Now, girl, this is what sold me. This, this, this about to, girl, this about to knock you out. So the straps are long enough to be a long shoulder bag and a cross body. I would do my shots, but girl, I ain't got no pants on. I'm just keeping it real. Well, I just got like some shorts on. <laughs> um, so, but I may do some my shots. And um, anyway, so this uh, is the strap is long enough to wear, obviously, as a dropped shoulder bag or cross body, which is what I like. I'm not really a cross body person because cross bodies can look very like casual or girl i'm going on a mountain hike and i got granola in my bag really not my zhuzh and aesthetic but the uh, combination of the chain detail and the leather strap i think makes this crossbody look a little bit more dressy and elevated now you also can remove the straps And obviously, it can just be a traditional clutch or handbag. Which is probably how I would wear it. Um, I would say 50% of the time. Because I'm going to show you the other way I'm going to wear it. Girl, I'm just going to knock your socks off. So, if you clip this on like it is a traditional crossbody. No, like with a traditional just strap. You take this loop, this large loop. And put it through this drop loop then you take this loop and put it through this oh, drop loop like that girls the top handle slash is the wristlet Slash is still a shoulder bag. And then you still have this cute chain detail where you can drape over the front or you can just drape it out the back to get it out your way. Girl, this is the bee's knees. This is really like a five in one bag. It's a clutch, a crossbody, a drop shoulder bag, a uh, short handle, a, sh a shorter shoulder bag, and a top handle. You know, this is kind of giving you the top, a soft top handle, kind of like the uh, Chanel 19 vibes, you know? Uh, girl, obviously not the whole bag, but just like, you know, chain top handle part. Um, and so I just love this bag. I think this is the cutest bag. Again, I love the color. It's a, I think they call it chalk. I will have all details linked below. Um, and let me know, did you purchase the pillow tabby or what have you purchased from Coach? recently because I do think that they've had they're having a resurgence among the fashion uh, com well I won't say amongst the fashion community because like I say I think if you like if you've always liked nice leather goods then you've you, you never stop purchasing coach I had a men's coach work tote and the quality on it was at a was at a higher level you know I've had some luxury items that girl leather unraveling this is a very well made leather luxury bag and, and that's one thing to me that coach has always been known for known for having a very um high quality textile of leather you know so again for me it, it it never went out of style now for me if a brand goes out of style it's because you literally stop producing and stop manufacturing but even then if you make a nice piece you still didn't go out of style for me say for example like halston you know at one there have been several points of time there have been several uh times where they've stopped production or they've halted the halston line but that still doesn't mean that if i saw halston in the venture store i wouldn't purchase it i mean i probably couldn't wear it but i'm just saying if I could I would still purchase it I don't put time span on brands now I put you know um, I hold brands all brands to a certain level of quality which is I think that that should be the the deciding factor if you purchase anything or not is it 
Is it, you know, aesthetically pleasing to you? Is it durable? Is it, you know, will you get your cost per wear? Is it, you know, worth your investment or, you know, putting your money into it? And other than that, what brand it is, it's just kind of, you know. Again, all details and information will be linked below on this bag. Make sure you check out my other videos where I talk about fashion, beauty, natural hair, my life as a plus size model, and so much more. Also follow me on Instagram where you can get more insight into my life. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Stay safe, go forth, and prosper.